Tacos, it says there, and this is my tingaleri, which is the old Yorkshire word for barrel piano, because this is indeed a barrel piano. The barrel pianos were around and built mainly in Spain in the 1880s and 1890s, and I saw my first barrel pianos in the 1960s in Portobello Road, when my grand and granddad used to take me there. And this has a barrel here with some pins on it, they make the piano work here, and it also makes the wood block go, and the triangle. I've got six tunes on here, and this is the mechanical music that they had before they had iPods. Except these are a lot harder to take onto a bus. I've got six tunes, and iPods got thousands. But this is how my tune sounds. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Uncle Taco's Tinkalary sounds like this. If you want to know the difference between a tingaleri and barrel piano and a street organ, there are some street organists just along the way in the courtyard over there. And at 11.40 I'm doing a flea circus. What more could you ask? <laughs> Is he weak? Let's measure the testosterone bouncing around inside him. Look out, ladies. Oh, wait, it's not coming out. Point one. Have another go, we'll give him that for free. Wow! Hey! Let's hear you! Hey! Do you want a photo there? Do you got a photo with him? Yeah, yeah. Show, show your muscles, Nicholas. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's so appropriate for a flea circus. Scratch music. You might want to come and sit down here. Now then, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, my fleas are almost ready. Some people don't believe they're real, but here's some to show you. Some little ones training, can you see? Be careful they don't jump out. Very small. So small that some people believe you can't see them at all. But nevertheless, I've got some very special spectacles. Here they are. Look. Their fleas have come from all over Britain, all over the British Isles. I've chosen fleas that can jump higher, run faster and lift more than any others. They all came direct from the Olympic Village. I've got Usain Bolt's very own flea in here. They're going to perform for you today. So ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, please put your hands, feet and wobbly bits together and welcome nothing other than Uncle Taco's Flea Circus! You can see the excitement here and I'm almost ready. I just need to start the new technology down here. There it goes. You can see 
here on the circus ring. You can see the high wire, the high dive, and a variety of different acts. But in order for you to see boys and girls, you will need to stand on here. So the little children stand on here. Mums and dads stand behind. You can crowd in at the back if you like. There you go. That's it. Stand on here. That's it. Come up a bit nearer. It's tricky at the back, isn't it? You can stand on those benches, but if you laugh too much and fall over backwards, please don't blame me. Or you can push to the front. Come up a little bit, mums and dads. Come up a bit. Step forward. Step forward. That's it. You'll need to stand on there. There we are. We're almost ready. Now, would you like to see the first fleet? Would you like to see the first fleet? Yes! <laughs> now, my fleas, my boy fleas and my lady fleas, I have to keep separately. Otherwise I'd have more fleas to cope with uh, than I could possibly deal with in this one circus. And I'd have to open many more, just like Cirque du Soleil. <laughs> so I keep my boy fleas here, in this strong tin, which used to be for gramophone needles. And my first flea has got some special music. There it is. There it is. There we are. Now then, ladies and gentlemen, I know you're going to be astounded as you welcome the incredible Hercules. There he is on the palm of my hand. And you'll notice that I have trained him to remain entirely still upon command. <laughs> but that isn't always the case. For Hercules starred in a film called Ben Hur, the music of which you can hear now. <laughs> and Hercules, I'm now going to place in the center of the circus ring. Come on, Hercules. There he is. <laughs> you can see him there, and upon command, he will walk around the circus ring. Hercules, begin to walk. And see, he started to move, and now I tell him to halt. Well, I wait for him to start once more. Hercules is going round again. Gasp in amazement as I say stop. And start. But that is not all, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, because you will know that the film Ben Hur was famous for a chariot race. And here is a chariot from that very film, made entirely of solid gold from a Toblerone bar, what I ate earlier. <laughs> this chariot weighs more than 1,000 times more than Hercules. And yet, upon command, he will walk around the circus ring. Hercules, begin. See. As he walks around, waving proudly at the audience, who all wave back. How does he do it, they cry. How does he do it? Why does he do it, my friends? <laughs> there he is, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, a huge round of applause for the mighty Hacky, please. <laughs> Not to worry. Would you like to see another fleet?
So give me your names again, please. Um, I'm Mr. Shaw. Mrs. Shaw. Mrs. Shaw. Mrs. Shaw. Mrs. Shaw. Mrs. York. Yes. These nice people. Tracy. Tracy. Jacob. Jacob. Can you tell me about your teddy then please? Um, this, is, this was my father's teddy and my father was born in 1908 so this teddy is 105 and his name is Per. His name is? Per. Per. Mm -hmm. okay. Thank you. And your name is? Margaret. Margaret. Thank you Margaret. It is my honour to uh, introduce you the lady who has made this uh, picnic possible for you all. I'd like to introduce the lady of the house, Mrs. York. Thank you, so please. And did you see Queen Victoria? She was my godmother. She came with a very special gift for me. She's returning again at three o'clock in the timber yard. So please come and see Queen Victoria visiting Irving. Thank you. Body of men defending the empire. Thank you, Mrs. York. 
As long as you're interested, Mrs. York is uh, going to be saying goodbye to uh, the United States. Tell me your names again. Gwenda. Gwenda. Val. Oh. Val. And Anne. And Anne. Yes. And where are you nice ladies from? Wrexham. Which Whoever. part of Wrexham? Bradley. Oh, Bradley, okay. Thank you very much for that. <laughs> she was a show girl. <laughs> You come here again all the time? Yes, yeah. Um, You're normally on the other side of the field? I've done, no, I've done the, um, the courtyard at Christmas. No, I'm talking about the summertime. You know this specific weekend? The Victorian uh, yes, weekend? yeah. I've been here for the last 10 years, I think. Yeah. But you're normally on the, well, I remember you're on the other side of the field there. I may have been, yeah. Yeah, yeah. okay. So tell me your name again. Andrew Clarkson. Andrew Clarkson. Yes. And whereabouts are you based? In Chester. Actually in Chester itself? Yes. So your name is? I'm Nathaniel J. Bagshot, magician, musician, fraudulent, spiritualist and international jet-setting playboy, retired. Now boys and girls, now put it down there, there's a the baby. Bum, bum, bum. Thank you! How spontaneous! I'm so sad! I'm gonna blow my nose! I've got a surprise for you! How dare you throw the moon out of the stairs? Well, tell me where you're from. 
We're from a little village called Altborough, which is near the Humber Bridge. That's the North Lincolnshire. North Lincolnshire. The other side of our country. Yes, yes. yes we're, I think we're about the furthest north, possibly. About three hours' drive. Three hours' drive? Um, there are you sure you haven't got a helicopter? No, no. no. <laughs> we're from all over, the regiment's from all over the country. So, you know, we, people as uh, south London, London um, Reading, Reading, Bedford, uh, Nottingham, Derbyshire, from all over. And we just get together every weekend and have a really fab time. So tell me the name of the regiment again, please. It's, it's the third foot in the mouth. Yeah, we hate every minute of it. It's based on the regiment from Carry On Up the Kyber. Uh, the only difference between us and Carry On Up the Kyber is the tartan because the tartan is made for the film. What is it? Silly. <laughs> yeah. the, the tartan is used in the film. It's, it was custom made for the film. So. I'm surprised because everything they did about them was low budget. Oh, yeah.